Hello adventurers and welcome back to another Dragon and Home video. Today we're going to discuss the new summer event boss fight, Suzano no Mikoto, aka the Samurai Boss. Before we get started, I want to give a big thank you to Tempe, Belsir, and Melatonin of the NA server for allowing me to record this boss fight. This is a brand new boss in Dragon and Home which released on July 14th. With this boss, we have a chance of earning the new Heavenly Cloud Sword a long sword of blue or purple quality with the possibility of an elemental attribute. With such an interesting and desired new item in the game, I want to go over what you can expect when fighting the samurai boss and how to take him down. The samurai boss deals thunder damage, so prepare yourself with chest armor that has the fire attribute and any purple quality gear which have Geonima soul stones inlaid. Don't forget to swap to your fire weapons and feel free to bring along any other fire buff consumables such as red wine or fire elemental potions. At the start of phase 1 of the hard mode fight, the boss will have two attacks to work with. Attack 1 is a standard attack where the boss wields his sword and damages anyone in front of him. Attack 2 is a combo attack, the boss slashes three times in quick succession. When the boss reaches 90% health, he will begin using his assassination attack. The boss teleports to a random player and locks them in place. While the boss charges his attack, party members must stack on top of the locked player to spread the incoming AoE damage. There must be at least one other player stacked on the locked player or they will be one shot. At 80% health, the boss gains its Cyclone Blades attack. It will summon a whirlwind of blade slashes that lasts 15 seconds and damages anyone standing inside of them. You can see these blades as purple slashes in the air. I recommend moving away from this area if you do not have a strong defense. At 70% HP, the boss gains its fifth attack. It spawns a red circle on the ground which expands outward. When it reaches its maximum range, a large lightning explosion will hit anyone caught within range instantly killing them. You must run away from this area before you are knocked out of the fight. Upon falling to 60%, the boss will begin using its sword beam attack. He will charge a sword and release beams of energy at the player with the highest aggro, which will immobilize them. He will continue to throw more attacks their way, as well as at ranged players, so archers and mages should look out for these beams headed their way. Once the boss reaches 50% health, the battle enters phase 2. His default attack and combo stay the same, but his other attacks become more deadly. During his assassination attack, the boss will place a fire ring on a random player, dealing damage to them and any nearby players. The player with the fire ring should avoid stacking on the locked player to reduce the amount of damage that the entire party receives. Also, the sword beam attack will now trigger 5 times. At 40%, the boss's Cyclone Blades will begin to pursue the closest player. When below 30%, the Dark Lightning Explosions will have a secondary blast one second later with a larger radius. If you see the boss's health near 30%, remember to run even further away from the red circles on the ground since this is still a one-shot kill mechanic. At 20% HP, we enter the final phase of the fight. The boss becomes immune to most damage, and a purple bubble appears around Nico. The shield can be damaged by player attacks as well as the boss's sword beam attack. I recommend guiding the boss to stand next to Miko's bubble. This allows melee players to strike Miko's bubble while tanking the boss, and any sword beams have an easier time running into the bubble shield. Once the shield is broken, a cinematic cutscene triggers, and the boss fight is complete. Happy looting, and good luck earning those Heavenly Cloud Blades. Let's take a look at the boss fight in its entirety.
you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and leave a comment with any questions you have or ideas for future videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of my latest Dragon and Home videos as they release. Follow me at twitch.tv slash stepfreak for live gameplay and giveaways. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.